Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookham here, and today I wanted to talk about old school strength standards. It shouldn't be surprising that old school bodybuilders held strength at such a high regard, as time has shown that more strength equals more muscle, especially for natural bodybuilders. The progressive overload principle, which has stood the test of time and been used since the time of Milo, right through to the bronze, silver and golden eras, has been the number one method used for developing both natural and enhanced physiques throughout bodybuilding history. These old school strength standards were developed around the silver era, and I recall an article written in Muscle Power magazine by Joe Weider, where he stated how strong a bodybuilder should be. Joe Weider wrote that at the very least, a lifter should have a 200 pound bench press for repetitions, a 300 pound squat for repetitions, and a 400 pound deadlift for repetitions. Note, and I repeat, these strength standards are the very least that a lifter should have. As basic as this statement from Joe Weider sounds, it does give us a start. Since then, of course, other basic programs based on Reg Park's, for example, 5x5 program have come round to help us achieve the more accepted 300 bench press, 400 squat and 500 deadlift numbers. But even then, these strength standards qualify the lifter as being relatively strong and don't quite help the novice or intermediate lifter, nor do they help classify one as a novice, intermediate or advanced lifter in, in many ways because in all honesty, it doesn't take the person's height or their weight into account. How does then one qualify a lifter as a novice, intermediate or advanced? Well, many would point out how long one has been training, but classifying a lifter is not as easy as that. Old school knowledge states that it doesn't matter how long you have been lifting, what matters is how strong you are. Reading Golden Era material, I came across some publications that stated the following strength standards. Novice, a level when you cannot perform a bench press with your own body weight for six strict repetitions. A back squat where you cannot perform your body weight for full range of motion for 15 repetitions and a barbell curl with 50% of your body weight for eight strict reps. And just think about that. I mean, I'm going to give some, some actual numbers in a second, but basically the strength is very, very important for a lifter. And again, it doesn't really matter how long you've been training. You could have been training for 10 years, but if you don't have these basic numbers, these basic strength standards, then you can't really call yourself an advanced lifter. I mean, you know, you're going to be curling, let's say, you know, you're an 80 kilogram lifter, um, and you're still a novice if you can't curl 40 kilograms for eight repetitions on the barbell curl. You could have been training five, 10 years, and if you can't do that, well, you're still a novice. The, but then you've got a, a construction worker who could come into the gym on the first day and perform all of that. He's already got an advanced, a more advanced level of strength, and that's really what is most important. So again, using these standards, for example, an 80 kilogram lifter is classified as a novice if he or she is not capable of performing 80 kilograms on the bench press for six repetitions, 15 repetitions with 80 kilograms on the squat, or 40 kilograms for eight repetitions on the barbell curl. And then there's a question, well, what if you can perform one or two of these lifts at the required weight and reps, for example, let's say the bench press and the squat, but not the barbell curl? Then you would still be qualified as a novice, and you would need to concentrate in this case on developing more strength and muscle, especially in the arms and delts for that matter, which will help your arm strength, until you can perform all three lifts at the required weight and reps. What you want is even development without lagging body parts that will serve as a foundation for you to build up on. You should not try intermediate and advanced training methods or routines either, as you are likely not ready. Instead, you should focus on full body routines like old school bodybuilders used, such as Steve Reeves and Reg Park, for example, the 20 rep squat or the 5x5 performed three times a week with optimal nutrition and rest to allow for maximal growth. Other basic routines are also available in Arnold Schwarzenegger's and Danny Padilla's booklets, which are simple but awesome, full of basic and applicable old school knowledge available on my website. 
moving on to the intermediate level now. An intermediate lifter is at a level when you can perform the above mentioned lifts. That is once again, a bench press with your body weight for six strict repetitions, a back squat with body weight for 15 repetitions with full range of motion, and a barbell curl with 50% of your body weight for eight strict repetitions. At this stage, higher volume, high frequency training methods such as an upper body and lower body split can be used with a training frequency of let's say four days a week. Routines are again detailed in Arnold's and Danny's books. At this stage, however, gaining both muscle and strength should still be the number one goal with the aim of achieving the following strength standards that would qualify you as an advanced lifter. That is, a bench press with one and a half times your own body weight for six strict repetitions, a back squat with one and a half times your body weight for 15 repetitions, again, full range of motion, ass to grass, and a barbell curl with two thirds of your body weight for eight strict repetitions. That is, if you are an 80 kilogram lifter and can perform a 120 kilogram bench press for six reps, a 120 kilogram squat for 15 reps, and an 80 kilogram barbell curl for eight repetitions, you would be qualified as an advanced lifter by golden era old school standards. Some of you might be thinking, two thirds body weight for strict curls? Well, this really shows off the mentality of old school bodybuilders and their emphasis on aesthetics. Big arms, big chest, and a strong overall physique is what it was all about. That old school look. And, you know, at an advanced stage, an even higher volume training routine could finally be adopted. Still, in the off season, a four day a week training frequency is recommended, and a six day a week training style split would only be used to get in shape or in competition. More advanced bodybuilding principles such as forced reps could also be used at this stage because you are now qualified as an advanced lifter. Now some of you might be saying, ah, this is BS, you know, Golden Era Bookham's got no idea, etc. Or say, you know, I've been lifting for 10 years, I'm advanced. But I ask you this, are you going to disregard this advice as is written by both Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny Padilla, two true legendary figures from the Golden Era? I think not. And regarding its applicability, I use a similar assessment for my own clients in my online training program, and it works very, very well. So there you go. That's a look at the old school bodybuilding strength standards, and I do hope that you can use these to help you map out your progress and honestly assess yourself. At one point, I was almost, for example, an advanced lifter myself, closer to five or six years ago when I was injury free, but after many unfortunate accidents and a lot of recent sickness, I've dropped back down. Bodybuilding is an ongoing process and life's ups and downs will affect your progress and goals. So just keep that in mind. Just because you might be intermediate or novice or whatever, doesn't make you a loser. You know, it doesn't matter if you've been training for a long time, you know. Uh, the loser is the person that quits. And if you don't quit, you'll always be winning. That's, that's really important. So I do hope you have enjoyed this video on old school bodybuilding strength standards and hope that it can be useful to you. If you have enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe, click the notification bell and let me know your comments. That's it from me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. Golden Era Bodybuilding Booklets are available at www.goldenerabookham.com including Steve Reeves, Rich Park, Vince Geronda, Larry Scott, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mike Mensa, Danny Padilla and much more. Online training is now available including my new program Novice to Classic, a program geared towards beginners and novices looking at developing a classic physique as well as Classic Cut geared at those who wish to lose weight and gain muscle fast. Details available at www.goldenerabooken.com. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends, including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platz, and Larry Scott, and much, much more, and select your poster now.
As a natural bodybuilder, it is imperative to know your own testosterone levels as they are a reflection of the anabolic environment created by your diet and training. I would highly recommend using the male hormone test kit from Let's Get Checked and make sure you use my code GOLDEN30 for a 30% discount. Again, the advantage of checking yourself regularly is that you will know how well your body is anabolically primed to put on the much desired muscle you are working for. Get your gym wear and golden era apparel at the new golden era tees shop featuring designs from the silver era and golden era legends available as tanks, shirts, sweatshirts and hoodies in all sizes and colors. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm for merchandise including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases and much much more. Once again at teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. If you're a fan of old school bodybuilding, then make sure to check out Sups the Movie. Filmmaker Alex Ardenti explores the $40 billion sports supplement industry, delving into the origins, evolution, and current state of supplements used by millions of fitness enthusiasts worldwide, available at Amazon and Vimeo.